The coding durability test puts excess through a cycle of 10,000 strums. Through the lens of a microscope, it is clear that excess retains its composition better than other coded strings. Testing complete. All right, Chris, we breeze through the guitars, your pedal board, and your yeah. amp, but I see a green device over yeah, there on yeah. your left so, shoulder. What's going on there so, so people aren't speculating? What I'm doing um, is we have two Kempers, and one Kemper is for the bass rig, and uh, is ran to a, a cab that's the powered Kemper, Kemper. Okay. and then the, the stage I think that's what's called right the Kemper stage yeah so that's actually my bass players but that's what I'm using and I use that for a front of house signal um, so basically there's two mics on my cab which is the victory okay and then he gets a direct signal from the Kemper and creates a stereo sound okay so uh, Whatever he does to it, he, I think he may delay it a little bit and just set it um, just for a tonal difference, you know? Um, that way I only have to worry about my one rig on stage. Um, yeah, I mean, it, campers are great, you know? Yeah. I, I will say I, there's nothing like having a real amp really loud right behind you. Yeah, I can, I can speak to that. Yeah, <laughs> especially, especially in smaller clubs, you know? Yeah. Um, I noticed uh, because a lot of bands just won't have cabs at all, and um, man, it feels like such a letdown for all the people in the front row, you yeah. know? But uh, yeah, I mean, it's sort of how we do it. So I'm, it's a sort of a stereo rig, but like I'm not running any stereo effects. Yeah. It's basically just to have two different sounds coming out, and he can spread them apart and like make them sound like two different guitar players, sort of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, while it's two sounding, Chris's. Basically, what it is is I have the, the Victory Super Sheriff, which is that sort of British uh, sound. And then I'll, every night, I'm sort of messing around with different tones to try something completely different from that. Yeah. Whether it's like a really fuzzy sort of uh, orange tone or like, a, you know, an AC30 um, or, or just, you know, a basement or something. Um, I've got some of my amps that I've uh, modeled on there, like at my 74 Baseman mm. uh, 410. That sounds really cool, and it's so di different from the uh, victory. So thinking about it more as not doubling, but more as complementing the yeah. sound rather than because yeah. sometimes you just put more and more. It's like two different sounds, but the same. Right, and like I used to have do it to where I would have two amps, and I would have a 20 millisecond delay to set them apart from each other. And it's cool sometimes. Sometimes it just came off like straight up chorus sound yeah you know just sound like uh brian adams up here playing, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> which is cool but uh you know that's not crowbot no and i think the way he's doing it is you know honestly he might not even be using much of it but for our ears as well um the way i have my ears as i have one left of the victory right of the other uh microphone of the victory and then right down the middle i have the kemper really low so it just sounds huge in my ears. Awesome.